If you use Notion Calendar for time blocking and have been trying to get into the button ecosystem of Notion, this is the perfect video for you. I'm going to go through a simple automation that lets you easily plan in Notion Calendar without having to do any setup inside Notion beforehand. And even if you've never used Notion Calendar for time blocking, all you're going to need to follow along with this are going to be any tasks database that just has one important property, which is going to be the due date. So if we look at my Notion calendar, you can see that I don't use it for time blocking or time tracking very often, but Notion itself has been my task management daily driver for a couple of years now. Because of this, I've always been on the lookout for small changes that I can do to make my Notion task management a lot better. So the main issue I want to focus on in this video is going to be migrating your incomplete or old tasks into a new week when you're trying to plan for the next week ahead. I really like the idea of my incomplete tasks following me around, but as I've used Notion Calendar more and more, the manual labor to do this has almost doubled. Essentially, we're kind of stuck with a situation where we have to move things twice, so we're moving it here, and then also we're jumping over to Notion Calendar and then actually planning out our days with that information. So instead of that, this button just lets you push everything into the next week. Everything gets moved onto Sunday. And now we can easily drag and drop everything where it needs to go. And I know this kind of seems like a non-issue, but these are the kind of small things that you can use to get into understanding buttons and kind of just changing your workflow a little bit to improve it for you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm going to say mass push. That seems like a good name for me. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're basically we just want to edit all the pages in our task database not all of them some of them that's what i did last week i messed it all up so we're going to do first thing um due date let's start with done right so we want things that are not done okay number one number two is going to be is on or before today and then i did this somewhere else too so i'm just going to reference that because i did mess things up Look, you can you can see that I messed things up right here with a similar workflow. Um, but OK, so push forward. Um, let's see. So anything type is not OK. So that's yeah, that's another thing. So anything that I don't want to deal with and I just want to put into backlog, that's another thing I'm going to put. I created a property called incomplete, and that just means it's in the backlog. And type is not incomplete. All right, so these these are the three criteria for me to go ahead and push stuff to the next week. So, so heading over to kind of setting up our button here, I decided to do a flowchart since it's much easier to see what's going on. So we're kind of going through two paths here. So we have if today is Sunday and if today is not Sunday. Or Sunday is the day that the Notion calendar week starts on. So anything that's on Sunday will be available for me to plan the entire week out. So that's why I'm kind of breaking it down between it's in the last week, so Saturday and before, or I'm planning on Sunday, which means I can just shift everything to today. So if today's Sunday, I want to move all the tasks to today. And then if today is not Sunday or any other day than Sunday, then I want to shift the tasks to the next Sunday. So right now today is like um, January 11th, I believe, and I today's a Saturday, so I would shift all my tasks to tomorrow, which is the next Sunday. So this is kind of breaking down how I plan on doing that. And what I'm thinking is that, so any day this week, so if it's Friday and we add a week to it, and then we subtract the day number of Friday. So if Friday would be five, Saturday would be six, and then Sunday would be zero. So we're gonna add a week to whatever day it is, and then we are going to subtract the number of days it would take us to get back to Sunday. This is kind of a roundabout way of doing it if you think about it logistically, but I think that the way Notion works in like an easy way or like a quick fix or something like that, it makes more sense to add a week and then go back a certain number of days. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put all of this information we just talked about into an actual formula. So the first thing I'm doing is figuring out the code to get the day number, which is going to be a little d. And then I'm going to set this as a variable called day. And then I'm just going to type in the same information. 
then I jump up to the top over here and I kind of give myself more space to write everything out. So if the day number is zero, which means if it's Sunday, then we just want it to go ahead and set it to today. And then if it's not Sunday, we want to add one week and then subtract the day number amount of days. So that's what I'm doing right here, subtracting the day number amount of days. And then I have to do a little bit of finagling with the format date and make sure that it's a number before it actually works. So we can see that it's um, January 12th, 2025, which is going to be the Sunday, which is tomorrow. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to troubleshoot this a little bit just to make sure everything works. So I'm going to set a fake date value. And obviously when I'm actually using this, it's always going to be today. But I'm going to try today plus one, which is Sunday. And I'm just going to double check that if it is Sunday, then it's just going to be set to today's value. So I'm just refactoring this, and so if it's one day from today, it's going to be the same day, but if it's next Monday, then it's going to be jumped to the next next Sunday, and then if it was two days ago, then it's going to be this Sunday. I'm going to steal this formula, and I'm going to go put it inside our button that we were creating earlier. So this mash push button, we're going to change the due date to this value, and let's go ahead and double check that it works. So jumping back to the notion calendar this is last week still we have one two three tasks that have not been completed and they were stuck in the last week and then we're going to mass push them and they are all going to be moved to tomorrow and once this reloads we can see that they are going to be in tomorrow and perfect for time blocking in next week and then you can also see that these update in Notion as well, and they are moved to the next seven days based on that day value. And that is everything for this button. Um, the stuff going on in the background was me trying to create a proof of concept where the button worked in a similar way, but any tasks that had already been assigned, like a time, like a start date and an end date, would migrate to that same start date and end date in the next week. So I really wanted it to be so that if you were like, I'm going to do my laundry on Monday this week and you didn't do it and you wanted that same task to just get pushed to Monday next week from the same time, it would do that. But unfortunately, right now, since we can't, but since we can't currently access this page or that variable in buttons that aren't database buttons, it wasn't possible to use the previous value of um, the page that I was editing to set the new value. So yeah, I wasted 30 minutes of my time, but I'm glad I figured out that it wasn't possible and am sure that it isn't possible than just hoping that it would be a possibility in the future. But yeah, thanks for watching the video and hope you liked it.